profitability and how to sustain your business. Okay, um, let me first and uh, uh, foremost uh, help uh, Mark. You asked him. It is a conditionality. That's why the government is bringing it. Definitely. Uh, but um, IMF did not tell you that go and bring these taxes. He said that why, how are you going to enhance on your revenue, revenue mobilization? Policy? And government so, thought it wise that exactly this is to, where to, to get do this. it. Yes. This is destroying the businesses. What would That's you have thing. had government done? A government could have done or a, 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 a thing out of the box. Bring innovative um, um, solutions to this, where it will not hurt um, the growth of businesses, where it will not destroy businesses. These taxes are, as I have called it, obnoxious. It is not going to help and it's going to uh, uh, break the backs of businesses, as I've already uh, said. So, government would have, uh, could have used other forms. Let me tell you, uh, GRE research says that people who are capable of paying taxes in this country it's over 13 million. Okay. And just about 6 million of us, less than 6 million, After who are captured once. into the task net who are paying. Hey. How do we bring this? We have to bring innovative ways. And then we also have the taxes that we are paying is very big. Yep. Let me tell you, apart from the mainstream taxes and all that, the new taxes that came, the polar tax, the um, COVID levy. Uh, COVID when it came, it came to destroy businesses. It, the business had uh, the worst affected um, um, in, uh, of, of this um, uh, COVID pandemic, uh, including the Russia Ukraine war. Yeah. Government is complaining that it's affecting him because it's first and foremost affecting the businesses that it's going to tax. And so we need their sympathy. Then we increased the uh, COVID levy. We added it. There's no president in the world any country uh, charge um, a tax on COVID pandemic where when it was destroying businesses mm. it, it doesn't it doesn't happen anywhere there's no precedent okay. but we are paying plus um, um, the, um, we have um, this uh, import special import levy that we pay during the previous government it was said that after the sunset yep. the sun has never set and that a, a tax have not been never been taken out of the table. Mm. The uh, petroleum taxes and all that. VAT have re, uh, moved from 3% to over 20%, about 22%. Yeah. Benchmark that gave us the respite have also been taken away from the table. And that now we pay a, a very a high duties. Uh, duties have increased about 30%. And all this we are paying. So it's not that we are not paying. So all that government have to do is to make sure that the taxes that we are paying is already enough. And the, so we apply a very effective, efficient tax system uh, for collection of these taxes to ensure compliance mm. and also to rope in um, those who are outside the tax net and government will get more than enough to develop the country. So it's about um, applying um, efficient um, tax systems um, uh, methods that will ensure that compliance, because compliance is the key of all that we are doing. That's why he said that people will even find corners and all that. Now, um, a thermal port is half empty. Why? Why? Because people who think that um, doing business is extortively high at thermal have other alternatives in um the port at our right, Cote d'Ivoire, the port at our left, uh, Togo. Yeah. So, it, it, because it's not working in isolation, it's working in competition with other ports. Okay. And that's what we are saying. So, um, if you do efficient tax system, that will ensure compliance. That is affordable that everybody could do. 